Oh, good for you. Good old Brazers, what do you have for me today, huh? Where'd you come from? I have come from another world line. Come with me if you want to live. Therefore, you won't watch Terminator Dark Fate starring Linda Hamilton. Whoa! A new Terminator movie starring Linda Hamilton? I gotta see this! Peter Griffin. This series should end at Terminator 2 Judgment Day. That was the perfect setup to the end of the story of Sam Connor. But no! We gotta milk this cash cow. So now we're up to Terminator 6. Every film from Terminator 3 on has progressively gotten worse. And this was no exception. Now unlike the previous three Terminator sequels, Linda Hamilton decided to come back. And she was badass as she ever was before. She is the highlight of this film. Everything else was complete and absolute garbage. I would like to go over the timeline, but at this point the Terminator timeline is so polluted, it makes the Love Canal look clean in comparison. In the first couple rings of this film, John Connor gets killed off. Well, there you go. Movie's over. There's no point. The hero of the future is dead. There's no point sending any more Terminators back, right? Wrong. Mackenzie Davis appears in Mexico City. She is, in essence, our Rule 63 Kyle Reese. She's actually more like Greg from Made in the Abyss took away his laser cannons and gave him the personality of Sawdust. Natalie Reyes. Who, by the way, here's the twist. You were the chosen one. That's right. She is the brand new John Connor. And at no point does she show any leadership abilities whatsoever. 90% of the time she's either on the run or complaining. Why would anyone want to follow her? Oh, by the way, Arnie does show up in the last 20% of this film. He's now Carl, our T-800, literally retired after killing John Connor. He now does drapery. He lives off the grid, and yeah, he has a family. Don't ask! We also have our Terminator, the Rev-9. Oh, by the way, everything in this film is completely renamed. Because after all, I mean, it works so well for Time Warner when he renamed himself Spectrum, right? Skynet is now called Legion. And the Terminators are now called the Revs. In this case, we get the Rev-9. So what amazing design is the Rev-9? It's basically if you decide to combine the T-800 and Robert Patrick's Terminator. That's it. It's just kind of combining both of them. So amazing. I don't blame the actor for how poor this villain really is. I mean, it looked like he had a bit of a personality if they'd give him more screen time. After all, I mean, most of our leads don't have any personality. But, unfortunately, he just never had the intimidation factor Robert Patrick had. Now, the one thing I really liked about the Terminator is the Terminator movies, they had, at least had some bit of reality put to them. Oh, but this film, oh no, reality's where we decide to make it in this case. How effective a bullet is? Well, it depends who's shooting it. You know, if some like, uh, if some random uh, extra shoots a gun and hits someone, oh, it's just like a, just shake it right off. There's no problem with it. If a main character shoots you with a tiny gun, your head blows up. I know there's like one scene, they're literally hanging out of a plane as it takes off. And yet they're just standing straight up. No wind in their hair whatsoever. The laws of physics simply took a vacation on this one. They're just turning like they took care of the last one. You know, 
dump them in molten metal. It would have probably done the job. Or maybe do what they did in the previous movie and put sulfuric acid on it. Nope. Never even occurred to that. Tim Miller, the man who directed Deadpool, directed this monstrosity. It's bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tim. You, you had a sophomore slump here. The special effects at times is very suspect. I mean, the digital de-aging of Arnold and Linda Hamilton was pretty good for the most part. But oh dear God, does it get bad after a while. Remember that nice metallic silver that Robert Patrick's Terminator had? Oh, we're going to fix it. We're going to make a diary of black. You're going to ask me to grade this thing? Take a look at my face. Tell me where this is going to go. Whoa. I think I just figured something out, Beavis. <laughs> what? <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> By the way, this is getting great reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. You have failed me for the last time. This film is a failure on every aspect. Outside of Linda, ha Linda Hamilton. Don't watch this film. I recommend you watch Terminator 1 and Terminator 2 and just call it a day. Pretend the other films never happened. Until next time, you know what? I should listen to the dog. Bye.